Amen. Amen. Good evening, City of David and family. Amen. Facebook family. We just, uh, this is the final and this is the conclusion of the story of, 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 of our revival. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Our Bible, our revival, our conference, excuse me, our wisdom conference. And, uh, And y'all, uh, we're practicing. Well, I'm practicing. Uh, they not. I'm practicing. Amen. But uh, I wanted to also just give the name of the conference, and I want to make sure that it's on your hearts, your minds, and your soul, because God has a word. And when God gave Pastor Jones uh, the heart and the mind to do this conference, it was with uh, it was with uh, intent that our lives would be enriched and that we would be better saints of God. Amen? Amen. And so uh, uh, our wisdom con conference is, what's our wisdom conference, Pastor? Remaining faithful to God. Amen. Remaining faithful to God in chaotic times. Amen. Remaining faithful to God in chaotic times. Y'all forgive me for fumbling around there. I was trying to make sure I was trying to get the title because it's an awesome title. And the question is, are you remaining faithful to God throughout the chaotic times in your life? And sometimes we forget who we are and who's we, who we belong to uh, when things start to arise. We forget that we belong to God and God is already working it out. I had someone say, before I pray, and I'm getting ready to pray, but I had someone say that we, you've been trusting God for uh, 20 years and it hadn't happened yet. I said, but baby, I'm going to trust him for another 20 years until God change comes in my life and so if you don't understand that chaos is designed uh, to cause you to miss the blessing shame on you that's his job his job is to steal kill and destroy yeah. hallelujah but God says uh, if you ask I'll do it but you have to trust that I do it that's why the scripture tells us that we walk by faith and not by sight amen and so if you would bow your heads with me, we're going to go ahead and open up in prayer and scripture, and, and we're just going to see what the Lord has for us. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you, we give you glory right now, God, for you are an awesome God. You are a mighty God. You are a good and a great God, God. Lord, we haven't found no one like you, oh God. You woke us up this morning, oh God, without a thought, oh God. God, you kept us and protect us, oh God, because we belong to you, oh God. Lord, we thank you, oh God. You have always been a provider of food food on our table, in our cover and refrigerators. God, water to drink, oh God. God, you have always looked after us on our finances, our jobs, oh God. Lord, even the relationships of people that we have come into with, oh God. God, we thank you for the wisdom that you have given us how to keep these things, oh God. How to move because they belong to you, oh God. God, you required of us to be stewards, uh, good stewards, oh God. And God, God, that is our desire is to be faithful and to be great stewards with the things that you have given us, oh God. That's why this conference on wisdom, oh God, is needed. It is due. We need to be reminded, oh God, where we stand with you, oh God, how you are providing for us, how you are blessing us day in and day out, oh God. God, we ask that you would continue to send the word, oh God, through the man of God that's preaching today oh God. Send your word, oh God, of healing, oh God. Lord, that we would understand, oh God. Lord, that we would be delivered, oh God. Remove the stony hearts, oh God. And Lord, replace it with a heart of flesh, oh God, that we can receive it, oh God. God, that we will be blessed by it, oh God. God, that we would testify, oh God, uh, that you are good uh, and there's none like you, oh God. Lord, have your way tonight, oh God. 
in Jesus holy name we pray God we ask that you would move like only you can oh God fill this place oh God with your spirit oh God Lord fill this temple oh God with your spirit oh God cause the rumbling and a roaring oh God Lord of increase oh God of wisdom increase oh God of knowledge increase oh God of obedience increase oh God of faithfulness increase oh God of unity oh God God that we would honor the first and great commandment that we would just flat out love you with all our mind with all our hearts with all our soul oh God God there's nothing else I have to give to the world because it all belongs to you oh God that's what we do in the house of God we give it to you oh God because God you have given it to us uh, you say freely receive freely give God we give this love back to you we give it to everyone we come in contact because you told us to oh God we know that you're going to honor your word. You're not a man that you can lie. In spite of our fallacies, oh God, in spite of, in spite of our shortcomings, oh God, God, your mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. He says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we will dwell. Lord, we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and forever oh God our desire is to be with you forever oh God God we thank you oh God for even touching us that we would receive such revelation oh God that you have allowed us to receive that invitation that gift of eternal life Lord thank you for writing our names in the Lamb book of life Lord after the preacher preached today Lord if someone don't know oh God let him cry out God save me because I believe father that you sent the son have your way in Jesus' name, we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I wanted to pray a little while longer because I can't sing, but, you know, we're just going to do what we do. Amen. Amen. Uh, Psalms uh, 113 is one of my favorite psalms because uh, Pastor Jones, have he asked me to read this one Sunday morning, and I start to understand this. So we're going to read Psalms 113. Amen. Amen. It says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. Hmm. Verse 3. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto the Lord, our God, who dwelleth on high, who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in the heavens and in the earth? He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the needy out of the dunghill, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. He maketh the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. One more time. Praise ye the Lord. And just for, just for his glory, praise ye the Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and observing of his holy, holy, precious word. Amen. And before we before we, we, we get started, I, I just want to say that if you haven't followed us, you need to go back and see day one. First Lady Jones kicked it off by us starting this thing in faith. Don't you understand? She she kicked this thing off by opening your eyes. We do not walk by sight, but we walk by faith. Thank you, First Lady. And then yesterday we came and showed how in though chaos may arise, God is always around. If you ever 
ask God to open your eyes, you'll see the host of heaven waiting to avenge you if you are really serving the Lord. Amen. And then tonight we're going to have the conclusion of the story with Pastor Pastor Dana Jones. Amen. And so I'm going to do uh, try to do a, 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 a con congregational song here. Uh, and I ask that y'all would help me with me. I made a vow to the Lord. And I, won't well, turn back. I made a vow to the Lord and I won't take it back. I made a vow to the Lord and I won't take it back. Made a vow, made a vow and I won't take it back. Made a, and I won't take it back. 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 I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. If I die, let me die. If I die, let me die in the army. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army. Amen, amen, amen. You know what? I know when to quit, you understand? And uh, But that's the good thing about the Lord. It's never quitting. It's now we're moving to the next thing because God has a word for us. And I know our pastor, see our pastor, I wish I could sing like him because that man can sing. But you know what? Uh, I'm going to let y'all see his talents for yourself. Y'all go. But he is the speaker of the hour. I want to introduce to us, to some and to present to others our own pastor, Pastor Dana Ralph Jones, Amen. Sr. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank and praise God for being here today. Amen. God's been good to us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For Pastor Steve Brown being, amen, in our midst tonight. Praise God. God has been good to us. And so we give honor to Elder Harrison, Calvin Harrison. Praise God. And we give honor to Sister Jones. Amen. And we just give honor to God. God has been good to us praise god and so amen we're marching on praise god amen we're not amen throwing in the towel but we're marching on amen. praise the lord amen. amen i need a little bit more volume on my mic it's the number one praise god amen thank you and so god has been good to us and so we want to start this off by saying we thank all of our supporters, those that support us in time, talent, and treasure, we thank God for you, for all that you do. I think that's good, right? Yeah, I think that's good. We thank God for all that you do um, for the city of David. We're appreciative of what you do, and so, and we're thankful, praise God, to God, unto you for what you do for the city of David. Now, we thank God tonight. Amen. For the conclusion of the whole matter, praise God. Amen. Remaining faithful in chaotic times. Amen. What a theme that we could actually uh, not actually go back in time and look at, but, but we can actually bring that to today's time. You know, uh, the saints used to always say, you know, Jesus is coming. He's yeah, soon to yeah, come. Yeah. And people would mock us and say, you know, they've been saying that for years. But let me say this. He haven't cracked the sky yet. But, but this is a wisdom conference, right? Yes, sir. Uh, um, but wait a few more days and you're going to see Jesus. Right. Praise God. Amen. He may not come to us, but you're going to go to him. And, and so he coming, baby. <laughs> He coming and praise God. Amen. You better be ready to give an account. Amen. For your life. Praise God. Amen. So and, and we thank God. Praise God. Amen. Remaining faithful in chaotic times. 
Praise God. Amen. Can you remain faithful uh, when times are going bad? I was looking uh, today and they were saying that the housing market or the interest rates are going up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Remaining faithful to God in chaotic times. Uh, this is where the, the separation of the men and the boys and the women and the girls uh, take place. Can you rely and depend on God? Mm, folk talk about God and talk about he got your back, but I'll, when the rubber meets the road and some hot days is going to approach, praise God. Amen. Can you remain faithful? <laughs> My daughter the other day, she called me, and I'm going to get to the scripture. My daughter called me the other day, and she was, she was crying, and she was saying, Daddy, you know, I went to this interview, and she had high hopes, and, and, and she started crying. And, and she said, Daddy, other people were walking out of the office with envelopes like, you know, they already got the job. And, and I said, Girl, what you weeping for? Uh, her anticipation or her faith in God was getting a little shaky. You, you, you got to go in with confidence that, that God is going to do what God is going to do. Mm -hmm. Can you be confident, praise God, amen, when it gets a little warm, when it gets a little hot? Uh, I got to pay my rent, so maybe I better go back and do what I used to do. No, baby, all you got to do is stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. God going to work some things out, but you got to wait and you got to hold on. Remaining faithful to God in chaotic times. We tend to lose focus in times like this. We, we, we'll, uh, we, we'll lay down our religion for a wedding. Bride come out half dressed, and uh, they'll be playing Luther Vandross, and, and and you'll lay you'll lay God down just so you could uh uh uh, uh what's that Frankie Belvy? Y'all know what's up? Dun, yeah, uh huh. You you'll lay God down. Say God, stay right here until I get finished. But I, I got to go back in time for a little bit when you know the 1970s and the 1980s. But but when I get back, we'll be back in the 2000s, and and we'll hook up then. I, I guess I hate to say this, but y'all know I speak what's on my mind when it come across. Who want a sloppy second? My God from heaven. Yeah, you, you, you think God is going to supposed to just sit there and wait on you. Mm, no, 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 baby, it ain't happening like that. God, God is a God. He says, uh, I'm a jealous God. We forgot to read that. I'm a jealous God. And so uh, remaining faithful to God in chaotic times, it's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you some friends and uh, it's going to cost you some family members. It's, it's going to cost you some associates to, reign, to remain faithful to God in chaotic times. Mm -hmm. uh, what's going on in your life? That's a good question. Yeah. Uh, what's going on in your life right now? Yeah. Does it seem like the earth is just opening up and swallowing you up day after day? Yeah. Does it look like every time you look over your shoulder, there's a problem? Somebody said, every time I turn around, uh, something's going on. And somebody said, well, stop turning around, baby. Stop turning around. Look to the hills from which cometh our help. Our help cometh from the Lord. Yeah. We are a people who trust God. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Remaining faithful in chaotic times. We can't. I was looking at the other day, and, and this is for the saints of God. I, I was looking at the other day, and I seen Sinbad. And he had had a stroke. And I said, oh, the devil is alive. Now, you talking about getting fearful? I said, I ain't going out like that. I, I got to change some things. I, I got to not be stressful. I, I got to remember to put my confidence in God and not trust in man. And so I got to look to the hills. I got to count on God. God, I'm not carrying this today. I, I'm not carrying it yesterday. And I'm not carrying yesterday's stuff and other stuff. God, I'm not carrying it. I'm going to bring it down to the altar. And I'm going to lay it on the altar. And I'm going to give it to you. Because I can't carry all this stuff. You remember when you got saved? They used to say it all the time. Uh, it seemed like the, the, the monkey just fell off my back. It seemed like the chains were just broke. Well, baby, we need to wake out of sleep, praise God, and put on our beautiful garments and come back to where God is calling us 
to remain faithful in times like this. My God from heaven, has God done anything for you? I'm sorry I wasn't supposed to do that, but I feel it on the top today. We're going over 2 Kings. 2 Kings, the 6th chapter, and the 8th through the, I guess, the 18th verse, and my wife touched on it, and Ella Harrison touched on it, and I think I, there's a couple of things I can pull out of this that would help us today. Amen. Amen. 2 Kings, the 6th chapter, I'm sorry. 2 Kings, the 6th chapter, and then verses 8 through 18. That's if I get that far. I may not get that far. Remaining faithful in chaotic times. Mm -hmm. See, you got to understand where the theme comes from. My God from heaven. Thank you, Lord. My God. It, it comes out of a, 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 the heart of a brother that says, I'm not going to give up. My God, this comes from my life walk with God. I'm not no great thing, uh, Ella Brown, but, but one thing I do know is that when he saved me, he saved me. When he called me out, he called me out. Praise God. This is not a play thing. God will do the work, but I've got to remain faithful. Mm -hmm. When I met my wife, I was thinking about this today, and I said, I'm going to get to the scripture. Y'all help me out tonight. I, I, when I met my wife, I said, look, I said, uh, uh, this is what I do. Not preaching, living for God. I'm a saved man. I love God more than you. You looking real good. But I love you, but I love God more than you. Can you handle it? You can you dig it? And, and, and Sister Jones said, "She said, uh, yeah, I can, I can handle that." And it's been thirty some years, man. We we we've been banging away at it for thirty some years. Remaining faithful in chaotic times would cause us. Now we had some bad days. Our ninth year was a bad year. Oh yeah, no, it was nine. Let me finish my story. It was nine years, and man, we were we about to call it quits. We, you know, we, we wasn't at one another throat, but it was in the mind. I, I, I lived in Fallon, Nevada, and I, I worked in Carson City about an hour away, and I'd just be fussing at her all the way to work, and I'd fuss at her again all the way home. But in the midst of all that, we, we said we got to hang in here. And then I like the way God does things because, you know, we say, you know, do it when I need it done. No, I'm going to do it when it needs to be done. And, and, and so after a while, I think it was almost a year, nine months or something like that, all of a sudden we became friends. Just, just wait, out of the blue, one day, just, just God just dropped something in there and it's like we became friends again. We became husband and wife again. Wait a minute, I'm married to her, right? Oh, okay, I can say this then. We became lovers again. Praise God. We, we, we became attached again. And so though we were going through, we had to remain faithful. Uh, let me drop a few things. Kids running away, we still had to remain faithful to God. We, we, we still had to pray and we still had to call on God. But we way out in the middle of nowhere. Look, Fallon up one day. We didn't have no family out there. Car broke down. We still had to be faithful to God. We traveled from Fallon to Reno another 45 minutes to go to church. I like telling my stories on how God delivered. And so one of the people in the complex I told them how, how much we love church, we love God. They gave us an extra, uh, another car. Amen. We had one car sitting in the parking lot. That's all we moved to, to Fallon with. Yeah. And they understood our plight. Y'all go to church? Here, there's a little car out here that I bought some time ago. Y'all can go out, y'all can have this. Thank you, Lord. And that Thank little you. Subaru was somebody thunder. Boy, yeah. it ran. But I'm saying... Though the times get tough, yes, you can't just throw in the towel. You got to remain faithful. The Bible says, and the Bible says, be thy faithful unto death, your last breath. I'm not giving in. 
I'm not throwing up the towel. I'm like Shambach now. I, if I get knocked down, I'm going to take the mandatory eight count. Devil, don't give me time to breathe. Yeah. Give me the mandatory eight yeah, count. Sir. Because at the end of the eight count, I'm coming back. Woo! My God. And I'm coming back stronger. Yeah, I'm not giving up. Yeah. Somebody want to give up. Folks is tossed in their minds because of the way things going on. Folks looking at the presidency. You better look to God. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Bible says, put not confidence in man, but trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. God been delivering for eons, and so he'll deliver today. Yeah. My God, I guess I better read something. Second Kings, the sixth chapter, beginning at the eighth verse, he says, Then the king of Syria warred against Israel and took counsel with his servants, saying, In such and such a place shall be my camp. Now, mind you, let me give you just an overview if I can do it. Ella Harrison read it. Praise God. And Sister Jones read it. Uh, the king of Syria was going to come uh, against Israel. Uh, let me drop this in here. Uh, Israel's Israel ain't suffering right now. <laughs> Israel gonna do what Israel gonna do. Right. Israel understand that they are a people of God. Right. So don't fret yourself about Israel. Right. Folk been trying to war against Israel. Come on, we here right now. Uh, I don't know how long ago this was, but this was eons ago that they were still warring against Israel. Baby, you will never beat God. That's right. Mm. Never beat God. I like that. I like that. Ah, you will never beat God. And so while they're in war and while they're coming in against Israel, uh -huh, uh, some, some things transpired. And then the transpire of things that, first of all, if God be for me, he is more than the world against me. I don't care how you put it. I don't care how. Well, they got power. You only got earthly power, baby, but I serve a man with all power. My God, in his hand. You're going to try to make me fret, fretful. Ah. I'm standing on the word of God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, he's just talking. Well, we just came out of consecration. And I had to deal with some stuff after the consecration, during the consecration. This ain't just talk. Praise God. We live in this thing over here. Praise God. Amen. We're going to be all we can be for the Lord. I tried to sing it good, but y'all know it. So here it is that they're trying to uh, uh, war against Israel. And, and, and all of a sudden, praise God, amen, word got back to Israel. Mm, somebody say, I need, I, need, I need a man of God. Amen. Woo, my God. Well, what about a woman? Well, the, the, the woman ain't involved this time, so let's, let's say the man of God. Let's keep it straight. Is that all right? Amen, amen. The man of God got word and. Praise God. Amen. And all of a sudden, he warned the king of Israel. Yes, sir. My God. It's something that when you start serving God and you're true to God, you know, everybody popping up, all these apostles and, and prophets and all, uh, all these these folks. And, and so I need a true man of God. I, I need somebody who's going to uh, not just speak into my life. Or oh, I can see you in a Cadillac tomorrow. Well, the brother can go get a Cadillac right now. That, that's not hard. But, but, but give me a double portion of your anointing. My God, let me lay hands on folk. Praise God. Amen. That's what I want to see. Praise God. Let me hear, my God. Let me hear the voice of God when he speaks. You ain't hear the folk talking about that. But see, we've been reading over in uh, Matthew, the fourth chapter. Uh, see, we, we fail to realize that the devil got things. Wait a minute, you, you mean that's all he could offer Jesus? Come on, go back and read it. He had nothing substantial from heaven, my God, to offer Jesus. He offered some bread. God got bread. He, he offered him some land. He, he got some land. Then he said, go and take your own life. That's a devil. Go and cut your throat. You going you, you, folk that commit suicide. Oh, we gonna be together. Yeah, y'all gonna burn in hell for eternity. You sure is. 
You're going to be together, all right. Come on, let's, let, let's, let, let's, let's go to heaven together. The devil is a lie. So here they're, 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 they're trying to bring war against Israel, and all of a sudden, the man of God got word. See, the king of Syria thought he had a traitor in the camp, and he thought one of the traitors had alluded to uh, 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 the man of God or somebody in Israel that they're going to attack them. God will give us an unction. He'll unctionize us. But we play with God, and we can't hear God. Uh-huh. The Bible says, the Bible says that, that the Holy Ghost will teach us. He will be a comforter to us. Wait a minute. He said he would lead us and guide us into all truth. And here you is stumbling around here and you're doing uh, uh, all this mess and junk. And you want to tell me, well, I got the Holy Ghost and your life is so raggedy. You're not being led by the Spirit of God. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the man of God, the man of God, receive word. But here it is going on in the enemy's camp. Did one of y'all let him know? Did one of y'all? See, that's, that's, that's called uh, 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 un, un, unbelief. He was unbelieving. You know why? Because he said, did one of y'all do it? Wait, wait, hold it. It go like this. He had no trust and no confidence in the man of God. My God. Now, when you go back and look at the scripture, you will find out when it, <laughs> when folk were really hard up, what did they say? Go and find. Go and look for the man of God. I heard he was down under an oak tree. I, I heard he was down in the village. I, I don't need what y'all selling today. I need a true man of God. So go down there and get that man of God so we can hear what God has to say about the matter. Y'all know the story. The Shudamite woman uh -huh, was blessed by a boy, and the boy died. And, and she said, she didn't say, well, honey, uh, uh, can we go to the hospital? She said, go and find the man of God. Find that preacher that blessed us with him. Find that preacher that spoke this into our life. Wait, did you hear it? He spoke it into their life, and then it came into existence. He was a true prophet of God. Go down there and get the preacher. It's all well. No, all is and not well. They said it was because why? Because they had the faith of the man of God. I know it's going to be all right. That's why this makes this so uh, unusual times for us. And what do you mean, brother preacher? The, the saints of old used to say, if I could just make it to the church house. I'm tired today. and I'm not feeling real well today, but they haven't church tonight. And, and if I could just muster up enough strength, if, if I can just get down to the church house, I know it's going to be all right. And boy, the church will go up. Why? Because they're putting their trust in God. I believe. Jesus said what? I'll be, uh -huh. God said I'll be in the temple, what? Perpetually. I'll constantly be there. That's why serving God from home is really not cool. Can I use that word? It's really not good because he said that he was going to meet us in the church house. Yeah, I know, baby, you having church at home, but, but he said he was going to meet us here. And praise God. You don't hear folk talking about the glory of the Lord. When's the last time the glory of the Lord fell in your house? But oh, when the saints of God come in, when the saints of God start praying, and when we start lifting him up, praise God, things begin to move. The heaviness is moved, and praise God, the doubt is removed, and praise God. And all of a sudden, she said, go get that man of God. Man of God went down there and said, what's going on? She said, the boy, the boy that you gave me, he died. And I, I, I'm, I'm sticking it to the fire to you. You need to do something. You spoke it into existence. Bring him back. Went in there, praise God, and it wasn't nothing funny going on. Laid on the boy and he came back to life. Here we are running around here. Praise God. Think we got it like that. But the, 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 the king of Syria was plotting. No weapon. Formed against me, 
shall prosper. Shall prosper. But you got to believe it. Yes, sir. You got to have faith in this thing. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Remaining uh, faithful in chaotic times. Some of us, we so shaky, we, we just got the shakes. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you, you? You need faith in God that, that you might stand strong. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He told us to stand in the evil day. My God. And Shambach would say, square your shoulders back and lift your head up, praise God. We're in a war and we ain't got time for weak folk. Right. Well, how can I get stronger? Yeah. Coming in here and praying and seeking God and fasting and praying and seeking God and fasting and praying and seeking God and fasting and praying. You want the victory, but you don't want to put in the time. Yeah. Paul told Timothy because Timothy was a young man, but he said, you have to endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I don't know about you, but it's scriptures like that to keep me going. Yeah. He says, you got to endure, Brother Jones. You, you, you got to endure. Well, what do I got to endure? I'm tired of enduring, but you know what? For the cause of Christ, yeah. because I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. I can see God moving and doing some things for me. I can see as I, I'm going along in my prayer, my fasting, God speaking to me in dreams and saying, I'm going to bring it to pass in your life. And sure enough, God has brought it to pass. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He says, go get the man of God. You know, go down here and get the man of God so things can work out for us. I understand, I understand. Let me tell you, let me tell you how weak we are right now. I understand that the church, the church has always gone through something. Right? Yeah. David sinned and, and the church was going through. The man of God was going through. But David had enough to uh, 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 muster up within himself to say, God, forgive me. But then not only that, God judged me. For sins I've done. Don't let these folk judge me. Because see they going to judge me wrong. But you're going to judge me. My God. Then you're going to give me some mercy. Folk around here talking about I got church hurt. Baby you better suck it up. We all got church hurt. We all got church hurt. Somebody. The, de the Bible says. That Jesus said let the wheat and the tear grow together. The devil go to church too. If you're looking for a perfect church, baby, somebody said, let me know. I want to go with you. Because yeah, the devil goes to church. Yes, he does. When the devil went before God, before the sons of God, yeah. he's an accuser of the brethren yeah. before God. Baby, who you think you are? Right, right. That you're not going to get tempted and he's not going to come and, and, and rather yeah. shake your chain every yeah. now and then. Yeah. Stop being weak as water. Be the man or the woman of God that he's calling you for in today's time. In today's time. Yes, sir. You know what I love about the word of God is so relevant. Uh, God is awesome. He said his word was good yesterday, today, and forevermore. And when we read the word of God, it's, 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 it's relevant to the day. All you have to do is apply it to your life. Matter of fact, call God on the carpet. God, you said, <laughs> you said if I live for you, you said, uh, God, you said if I trust in you, you said, and lo and behold, God will come through. Well, he may not come right when you want him to come through, baby, uh, but if you got confidence in God, he going to come through. You just have to wait. I got the king hat, got the, got the king, king help it. So the men of God said, King, I want you to know that, that there's, come on, here you go. I want you to know that you can't go down where you want to go. Right, right, right. Uh, there are some folk waiting for you down there. Right, right. No, but, but I, I wanted to go hear uh, 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 earth, wind, and fire. I, I wanted to go and hear. I wanted to go, but you wanted to go. But don't you realize, baby, that night you went down to the club and that night you went down uh, to the strip club. God said, don't go. Yeah. 
And you went anyway and chaos broke out. And here you are running for your life. Dodging the bullets. Dodging the uh, beer bottles and all that kind of mess. So God sent the king a word. King, you don't want to go down there. You, you, you don't want to do that. But the, here, here's one of the kickers about this scene here is that he obeyed. Come on, say it with me. The man of God. He, they were obedient to the man of God. So let me go back to what I was getting at. I forgot where I was at. So we're, we're in a state right now that we want to we place the blame game. Oh, uh, T.D. Jakes lost all his members. Da, da, da. Wait a minute, hold it. And other folk lost members. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Uh, I'm talking to the saints of God tonight because those are the only ones that got to remain faithful. Right, right, right. Come on, let, let me backtrack a little bit. Let, let me see where your heart is tonight. Let me see, do you really love God? Because we'll say, I love God uh, and you lying. T.D. Jakes is in a tough spot. What the Bible say? Forgive. Not only that, he, the, here, here it's even plainer. He says, brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault. Wait, wait. Brethren? Where's the brother in that? Come on, y'all say, here I am. Where's the brother in that? Brethren? If a man be overtaken in a fault. Now, when he say man, he talking about inside the church. He ain't talking about folks out in the street. Right, right. He says, ye with your spiritual. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ye with your spiritual. Restore him. Pray for him. We, we want to make fun. and we Don't make fun. Right. Help us, preacher. It's a shame that Carlson Pearson left here. Well, I, I should say we don't know. I hope he changed his mind. I would pray that he changed his mind. Because so many times we have itching ears and we'll eat at anybody's plate. And all of a sudden, oh, they said you could do this. And they said you, what did God say about the matter? Uh, oh, there's only one thing that we, we really need to know about God. He said, be ye holy, for I am holy. That, that, that's it. We, we can put a nail in it, close the Bible, and live on till Jesus comes. Or until we meet him. He called us to be a, be a holy people. Amen. So he says, brethren, uh, if a man be overtaken and fault, restore uh -huh, such a one. We have to restore. Mm -hmm. Somebody said to me the other day and said, oh, yeah, uh, so-and-so, they were molesting kids, and I, I can't forgive that, baby. You're going to bust hell wide right, open. Right. See, I was thinking the other day, and, and it's something about this that you can tell when individuals mm, don't read. I mean, just don't read. Uh, you got to forgive. That's right. 490 times in one day. Is that right? 490 times? Yeah, I think that's right. In one day, you have to forgive your brothers. You mean to tell me you can't, you can't find no forgiveness? At the church? Why would somebody want to stay in church and they can't find no love and no, no mercy and no forgiveness? It's a shame for us. Off with his head. Pastor made a mistake. We're going to kill him tomorrow. Why y'all going to kill him? Pray for him. Go by and lay hands on him. God. We know you're a man of God. We restoring you right back. All right. I think I'm past that. So anyway, uh, they go to the man of God, and, and the man of God says, uh, I, I, here's a warning. God is let He didn't say God. Let me, let me, I'm going to be straight. He says, don't go down that way. Right, right. They're waiting for you, and they're waiting to do you harm. Right. Mm -hmm. And as, as, as Ella, Ella Harrison read last night, he didn't just tell him one time, and he didn't just tell him two times. Wait a minute. Hold it. Are you checking out the scene here? He didn't just tell him three times. Wait a minute. Hold it. One more time. Let me go get the man of God. The man of God's got the word from God, and he'll keep you out of trouble. Yeah, yeah. Pastor down there taking folk money. Every pastor ain't crooked. 
Matter of fact, you go to a job where the folks is crooked. Hello, and you go there every day. Wait a minute, hold it. Here's the kicker. You will spend 30 years there, and you know they ain't doing right. Woo! My God. But here's something happened in the church. You ready to throw in the towel. Yeah. Help us, Pastor. Help Let me say this, and I, I hope if, if, I, if I offend y'all, y'all write me. and uh, Put on your big boy and big girl draws. Just, 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 just put on the big ones. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the baby just got here, and he's going to be wearing a diaper. And, and the other baby's here, she's wearing a diaper. And, and the other one might wear a pull-up every now and then. But, but, but put on your big boy and big girl draws. Yeah. Stop playing with God and be serious with God. Yeah. And then you want, you want to know why folk ain't, 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 is not following you. Your life's raggedy. Your life raggedy. They, they, they can't count on you. Right. You're, you're, you're in the, is that right? Independable? Is that right? Is that the right word? Independable? Undependable? Undependable. Undependable. It can't count on you. Right. I'll pray for you, baby. Then you come back next week. You've been praying for me? Oh, well, you know, some things came up. And you, you can't be even consistent with God. And somebody says, my life is on the line. And I need your help desperately. And don't know what's going on in life. But I need you right now. And all of a sudden, you, you know where to be found. I'm looking for a love. You, you, you just out there. So the man of God had a warning more than twice, more than three times, more than four times. He just said more than twice. Don't know how many other times uh, that, that, that their life was in stake. But remember, the man of God has the word of God, my God, that will save your very life. That's right. That's right. My God. Yeah. Help us, Pastor. It's going to save your life if you take hold of the gospel plow. But see, your problem, uh, Jesus said, if you take hold of the gospel plow and look back, you're not fit for the kingdom of heaven. We too busy looking back instead of looking ahead. See, it, when you go back in history and you look at how the priest used to have that little fontal thing on their forehead, it was right here, and it was scripture. And what they were doing was uh, they might have looked, you know, in this day looked kind of silly, but they are saying that we're keeping the word of God in the forefront of our lives. And, and so I want to make sure I don't go to the left or to the right. I, I want to make sure that the word of God is there leading me and guiding me. Not only that, God said that he was going to set up a plumb line. A plumb line is what builders use to keep things straight. You know, you don't want to move in a house that is like this. Right, right, right. You, you want it straight. Is that right? All of a sudden, our lives are not straight any longer. All of a sudden, it got chaotic and you lost your way somewhere or another. Yeah, but God is married to the backside. He is, baby, and he's calling you to be saved. He says, come. Amen. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Come. come. We don't want to come. We just want to stay in our, and I, I think I can use this word, degradation. Is that, is that a good word? Stay in our sin. Stay in our mess. And we still want to hear from the man of God. Isn't there something that, that somebody will come to town and you... Okay, th this is exposure time. Is that right? Somebody come from outside and they prophesy with somebody and, and they've been living like the devil and they, they ain't got God in mind. And you're going... Now, 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 I, I could be on the flop side where, you know, they may make a change, but... Uh, in some cases, I ain't seen it. <laughs> but God came to him more than once that he might bring a warning yes, sir. Yes, sir. to the people of God. Uh -huh. Why do we preach all the time and why is the word always going out? Because God has called us to preach. Let me see, the Bible says something like this, the, 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 this, this, this gospel of the kingdom uh -huh, shall be preached in all the land, in all the world. We're supposed to preach until we turn blue in the face. Yeah. We ain't never going nowhere. Uh, like my, my son's football team used to say, we ain't never scared. Yeah. We ain't scared. No, 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 we're not scared. And so we're sending a warning constantly to individuals. Get your life right. Jesus is coming. You're going to see him one day. 
And he's going to want to say, uh, what you been doing with all your time? You, you know how he sent out the workers to work. And one just dug a hole and smoothed it over and said, well, I, I'll make sure he'll get back what, what he gave me. And, and so I'll be cool. But the other ones went out, they invested. It means they went out and they took what God gave them and they put it to use. And then when the master came back, he says, Master, uh, you gave me five, but here's ten. No one said, Master, you gave me three and here's six. Right, 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 right. Now, before I get to the last one, what do you have to give him? Well, I, I have been praying for a Cadillac, so he gave me a Cadillac. That, and so I've been praying for a house. But, but, but no, 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 no. He already got that. Wait a minute, hold it. Don't you realize, this is how the devil have us blinded. Don't you realize that everything we have here was already here when we got here? Uh, it, it, it didn't just go poof, magical, it's here. God already designed it, baby. He already got that. It, it ain't all about that. But then there was that one who said, I ain't doing nothing. I'm going to sit here and you can't make me do nothing. And then the, 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 then the steward said, look, oh, since you want to be cantankerous and you, you didn't want to be obedient and you didn't want to help the cause, I often say, uh, uh, if you're coming to help me build and you got on your Hawaiian shirt and your big, big bring hat and your house shoes, you ain't come to help me. Right. You, you, you come to be a fan. <laughs> go, Brother Jones, go. Go, brother. Go, Jesus. Go. Go, Jesus. Go. Oh, we didn't come to be a fan. We, we came to roll our sleeves up and get a little dirty. We, we, we came to roll our sleeves up that we might work for God. Uh, let me say this, too. Selling chicken is not working for God. I don't find that in the Bible. It does help us out. No, 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 no. It helped us out. It helped the church out. But don't say I'm doing kingdom work and then you go home and sit down because you're too tired and you can't never tell nobody about Jesus. That's the wrong concept, baby. Y'all messing me up tonight. And so here my time is running out. And so they heard from the man of God and, and so the king uh, did not go. And so uh, the king of Syria said, wait a minute. My God, you, you know when God moved uh, on something that you want and then the, then the, the, then the devil said, well, wait a minute. Who, who gave you the authority? Wait a minute. Right, right. Who, who gave you the right? Wait a minute. Who said you could do this job? And Wait a minute. Who said you could live over there? And, and, and the echo would be God, God, God. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Help us, help us. So the king got upset and he, he asked his own servants, is one of y'all traitors? And they said, no, king. You, uh, you, who wouldn't answer the king that way? No, ain't no traitors over here. I ain't going to be no off with your head tonight. No, no, not tonight. So one of the messengers said, uh, it, 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 it is the man of God. Come on, there it is again. The man of God. Heard you talking in your... <laughs> heard you talking in your bed chamber. It was the man of God. Baby, God know everything. He omnipresent. When you think you getting away, you ain't getting away. Jesus said everything done in the dark shall be brought to light. So he said, it, 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 it's the man of God. It's man of God will get you in trouble, baby. It, it's the man of God. And so the king says, oh, we got to go and handle this man of God stuff. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't have him, you know, wrecking up uh, our war against Israel because uh, we want to take them captive. And uh -huh, we, we want everything they have. And, and so all of a sudden, he said, where's the man of God staying at? Y'all know what a man of God is? You know, we don't, we don't live in secret. Yeah, the, he lives down there, around the corner, across the river, right there in that little shack. That's where the man of God lives. The king said, okay, we're going to get our troops together because I'm going to show this man of God a thing or two. Yeah, right, right. I remember the, the preacher that has the church over, it's called New Life, over there in Umbo, and he said that, uh, uh, he was preaching one night. Uh, he's a bishop. 
he was preaching one night and the brother said he but not put his hands on me he said he's a black belt in karate he said he went by and god he the, the man of god laid hands on him and he thought he was going to karate chop him this dude is laying in the dirt karate chopping the dirt that's the testimony and that brother go to his church to this day he told the testimony. He said, that's right. He said, that brother came and laid hands on me. I didn't know what hit me. And I'm karate chopping the dirt. Mm -hmm. So the king says, let's go down and let's find this man of God who's causing me all this trouble and, and this havoc. Ella Harrison brought it out so sweetly. Don't think, praise God, because you living for God, you're not going to suffer attack. But I, 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 I lean toward the word of God where it says, lest Satan should get the advantage of us, we're not ignorant of his devices. We cannot, amen, be ignorant of the devil's devices. You're supposed to know. There should be a bell go off on you. Holy Ghost, go off. What's wrong, Holy Ghost? Don't go down there. This is not for you. And the saint of God will say, okay, I won't. Let me be obedient to the Holy Ghost. I ain't going. You ever disobeyed the Holy Ghost? And then you have to suffer the consequences on the other end? Now, God told me not to do that, and I did it anyway. Oh, yeah, I, I'm first class on that plane. It's like, no, 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 I'm going. To, and, and the Holy Ghost said, Did, didn't I tell you? And I'm like, Lord, Jesus, I can't do this again. Remaining, it means to stay and to abide, uh -huh. to abound. That's what we're doing. We're remaining. Faithful is to be trusted, is to be reliable, to be, come on, here it is, true, to be sure, believing. Uh -huh. That's what we're doing uh -huh, in this walk in our lives. So they go back to their homes and the man of God and his servant go back. Amen. To their house. And all of a sudden the king come. Praise God. And, and, and surround the house. And then the servant walks outside. And he says. My God. What's going on? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So he goes outside. And uh, he said. Uh, Alas my master. What shall we do? See that's the problem. We, we, we don't ask God. What am I going to do? Uh -huh. God what do I do now? Yeah. Uh, God, you know, it, 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 it's something to have a plan, but w w when God says, no, plan A is not for you, baby. I got a plan B for you. And then that's where you go skipping happily along because you got a warning from God. Isn't that a blessing to be able to hear? But see, today we're so desensitized to God's word. We don't know whether it's him speaking or the devil. Consecration is important. He said, Master, what shall we do? That's what we should be asking God. God, God, what shall I do? Where do I go from here? How do I handle this situation in my life? And I'm closing. I'm closing. Then the man of God, what else did he do? The Bible says what we don't like to do. I like to do it, but most folks don't like to do it. He prayed. He said, God, open up his eyes that he might see. He didn't say, uh, give him a loaf of bread and let me give you a sandwich so you can go and sit down in here. Uh, uh, I've been proving this land down in Umbo and, and I need to go check on that. No, that's not what he said. He said, God, open up his eyes. That's, that's having the power of God in our life. Open up his eyes that he might see. There is more with us than with them. My God. My, my wife used to say all the time, if, if, God would take, uh, it would, if God would take the blinders off our eyes, the things we would see in the spirit. We see the devil. Just, the devil the prince of the air, baby. Don't, he around here trying to mess you up. I don't know why I did that. That was the devil. Something was telling me. No, it was God telling you something. That's why I didn't go down there. Something said don't go down there. No, that was God, baby. 
we don't want to acknowledge God and we don't want to give him his due deserve. So he says, open up his eyes. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And when he opened up his eyes, he could see chariots, horses all around the mountains waiting to do them harm. Waiting to take their heads off. God, what shall I do in a time like this? Uh, I got to remain faithful to God. And so the man of God, I'm going to end it. The man of God took captive all those soldiers. Then he took them down and said, give them bread and give them meat to eat. Give them something to eat. They said, shouldn't we take their lives? He said, no, we don't take captors' lives. That's what we do today. We take folks' lives. We take them captive. I don't like what you did to me, and so it's on and popping. But, uh, brother, you don't understand what he did. He didn't give me back my $10. Right, right. Ooh. You, you don't understand. I understand. That God is full of mercy. I understand the grace of God. I understand that all that God forgave me in my life. There's got to be some mercy somewhere for somebody else. And so he says give them bread that, that they might eat. And then he says send them on their way. <laughs> Isn't it enough that God has showed himself to these men that they might understand you ain't got no hope, baby. You, you fighting a defeated fight. We already won. You just don't understand. But here in this walk and in this life, and I've gone over my time and I apologize, remaining faithful in chaotic times. Today's times are chaotic. They're chaotic. Husbands and wives, boys and girls, we got shootings. I mean, we got, we got, <laughs> I mean, sometimes, you know, I, I don't have a degree, but we have people with degrees and highly educated fighting over the airwaves. Yes, Say what? You mean to tell me that's what education do to you? <laughs> it, it, it causes you to be at war and at battle with one another? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm speaking poli politics. If you're going to run, run on your good merit. Right. Run on the things you've done. I don't need to talk about nobody else. I'm going to do what I know to do. Yes, sir. And, 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 you know, I might be a little mean with it, but you can take me or leave me. Right. <laughs> right. But we have to be sweet and kind. Yes, sir. We have to remain faithful to God in these chaotic times. Whatever we need from God, he says, when you pray, ask and believe you'll receive it. You got to believe this stuff. Uh, believe is not just calling it in the air and throwing it in the air. Believe is like I'm walking in the dignity of God. I, I'm walking in the spirit of God. And I'm not just doing it on Sunday because, you know, I, I prayed and asked God that, you know, let the loan go through. No, 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 no. I, I, I've given my life to God. And, and so that I've given my life to God, God is going to make sure that the way has been made for me. For the Bible declares that the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord and he turneth it whichever he want to turn it. I know I've tore it up, but y'all know what I mean. Uh, God is able to turn things around. And when we get a bulldog hold on God and, and say, for God I'll live and for God I'll die, God, God will begin to change things around. I'm not moved by what I see and I'm not moved by what I hear, but I'm moved by the word of God. God is going to fix some things and God is going to change some things. But we have to remain faithful. God, it don't look real good right now, but I'm trusting you. It, it don't look good right now, but I know you're going to bring me out. It, it don't look real good right now for me, but, but God, I know you, you got to hold me down. And you got to bring me out of this thing because I can't see my way. And although my mind says do this, my heart says follow you. And so I'm going to follow you with every fiber in my body. I'm going to follow you, God, and I'm going to be faithful. During chaotic times. And we like to quote this scripture and says that the 
wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. And yeah, and that's what you do. You go and lay up. You don't do nothing. You want God to bless you and you won't do nothing. Hmm, won't do nothing. But God wants us to put our best foot forward that we might remain faithful in chaotic times. We thank you, praise God, for tuning in. I thank you for coming out to be with us tonight. I'm encouraged, amen, to remain faithful in chaotic times. Praise God, amen. We're going to remain faithful, and we're going to keep plugging away at it until our last. He said, be thy faithful unto death. Until my last breath, I got to believe and trust in God. Oh, no, preacher, you ain't got to do that. Well, I tell you what, you do you, and I'm going to do me. And I'm going to do what the word of God say. Is that all right? So, again, we thank you for our second annual, amen, City of David Wisdom Conference. Praise God. I thank God for the speakers, and I just thank God for those that tuned in. And Pastor Brown, thank you for coming to visit us. Amen. You know you encourage my heart, so praise God. Thank you for coming, and we appreciate uh, all of you. And so at this time, you know, as we end, praise God, amen, our heart's desire is that God, amen, best will be yours. God bless you, and have a good weekend.